the fall for Rika is back. Of course, the next Smash Bros. week is here, and Smash Bros. for for him to DLC week. So the first character on the list is Crash Bandicoot, which I think is pretty likely out of these characters. Release date is October 12, 2020, so Crash Bandicoot is a very requested character. He makes a lot of sense because, you know, he is out of the four big ma- out of the three- out of the mascots. The old 90s mascots. We have Banzo, we have Mega Man, we have- I don't like Mega Man, but we also have Simon. We have all the big platforming styles. We have Mario, Sonic, Mega Man, Simon. We have all the big platforming styles from the 90s, but we don't have Crash Bandicoot. He's one of the last big guys left. And yeah, it makes sense to be him to be added as well, because he's one of the big platforming styles. And also Banzo Kazooie is one of the big platforming styles as well. But yeah, we all we have all of the big platforming styles of the 90s, except for Crash Bandicoot. He was one of the main car- he was one of the main ones during the N64 PS1 war. Basically, the console war of those two consoles. And yeah, Crash Bandicoot basically was the game that people were introduced during the PS1 era. And I think it would make a lot of sense for him to be in the game. Next is Ryu Hayabusa, another platforming character that that goes all the way back to the NES days. I think that he's also pretty likely for Smash Bros. Because of that reason, he's one of the big platforming styles that was for the 80s and 90s. He was very, his games are really hot, different. His games are known for his difficulty as well. But yeah, his games are also known for this, the, the ludicrous difficulty. <clears throat> Especially, I think, in the second game. I think it has the most difficulty of them all, or the third one. But yeah, especially the uh, the newer 3D games. The 3D games are also pretty difficult, like the one for the Xbox as well. And yeah, there's also rumor that his series might be coming back as well. So it makes sense that he is in Smash Bros. as a whole, because he is a very popular choice for Super Smash Bros. Next character on the list is Rebu. I have no idea who... I, have no, I don't think Rebu is going to be appearing in Super Smash Bros. It's just not happening. Reimu is not happening at all, never in a million years. I know people will try to tell me otherwise, but Reimu is never happening in Smash Bros. And yeah, just don't see Reimu ever being a playable character in Smash Bros. It's just not happening. Next character is Farful. Yeah, the I don't really see Farful being appearing in Smash Bros. Either. Because the Mario RPGs are not, I've kind of not really been there anymore because they shut down the studios who make it. So yeah, that, he's in the kind of gray area of Smash Bros. characters that probably will not appear in Smash Bros. I don't think Farful is likely at all. I think he's still more likely than Zeno, but he's still not going to appear in Smash Bros. Farful would have been, been perfect in Smash 4 or Brawl. When, when of course, when Smash 4 was in development, of course, Mario Bowser's inside story, he was in the, but yeah, they kind of really got rid of him after, you know, Luigi, you know, and again, they don't really like with the Mario care, RPG characters anyways, they basically got rid of Mario and Luigi and Paper Mario from having the original characters. But as characters, Professor Layton, don't really know his chances. His series has basically been Nintendo exclusive, so he I think he has a chance. His series is basically Nintendo exclusive with a few ports. I think he and Dell on like the iPhone and stuff. And P and play and a few and the okay and I don't think there was even a PlayStation version of Professor Layton. I think they're all Nintendo game exclusives. They're all Nintendo handheld exclusives. But the last game was released for like the Switch and of course the only other console Professor Layton games were released on was the iPhone. If there was a PlayStation 4, you could tell me. But yep, that's basically about the Smash Bros. DLC week. Goodbye.